Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and I know there's a lot of What is Wednesday topics that we want to cover. Uh, for instance, the next What is Wednesday is going to be on Redux. I'm going to get into some GraphQL, Apollo, that kind of stuff. But for this one, I wanted to take some time to talk about Parcel, which is a new uh, application bundler. And this was sort of making the rounds last week or a couple weeks ago. And so I want to do a What is Parcel to sort of go along with our What is Webpack video. Now, what is parcel. Simply put, it's a simple bundler. And I kind of hate the word bundler, even though it's accurate, right? Because uh, so many people are used to hearing build tool, you know, you would use things like even code kit, you could consider to be a build tool, even though it's an application, you've used things like gulp and grunt and all that stuff. And you've written all of these config files. And what is a build tool? Well, it's something that takes all of your different parts of your website from images to HTML files to JavaScript, uh, and CSS pre processed or files like SAS or less. And what it does is it converts it into different bundles, right? Whether it's a development bundle that you can work on and see your progress in a browser or a production bundle that's all minified and ready to go so that it's as small as possible. Simply put, it takes your files of your website and turns them into something that browsers can totally understand because a browser can't understand a SAS file in a browser's uh, on different you know, JavaScript configurations maybe can't understand some of the latest and greatest JavaScript ES6 features or something like that. So this build tool is basically going to take all of your JavaScript files, all of your HTML files, CSS files, all that stuff, and combine them in the ways that you have them imported and exported, and it's going to minify them, and it's going to allow you to use modern features. You could compare this to, like I said, CodeKit, uh, which is an application and less of like a build tool. Uh, but more importantly, you could compare it to like a Webpack, a Gulp, or a Grunt just without the configuration steps. But Parcel aims to be a super fast zero configuration build tool that's supposed to create really small bundles quickly. Now they have some comparisons about their build times and stuff like that. And I'm not necessarily willing to say that Parcel is the fastest or best day. You can see the nine seconds compared to 20 seconds uh, because this tool is still new and I haven't used it on any major big projects. But the whole goal of Parcel here is to be zero config, code splitting, hot module replacement, bundle all your assets without writing config files. Uh, and it, it seems to deliver on that promise in the best possible way. So um, you may have heard Wes Boss and I on the Syntax podcast. If you aren't a listener, check out syntax.fm. Talk about the future being build tools that don't require a ton of configuration. And this really falls in line here, which is why I kind of wanted to do this video really quickly, because uh, this in my opinion, is the future of build tools. We get access to, well, bundle all of your stuff, install this thing, and just get up and running. For instance, to use Parcel, all you need to do is load your script and pretty much it, right? We get access to importing and all sorts of exporting and all the sort of stuff that we want to do in JavaScript and modern web applications, but we don't have to uh, configure and we don't have to tell it to use Babel. We don't have to tell it to use post CSS or any of that stuff. So uh, Parcel is really super cool, uh, in my opinion, because it's really just the future of this kind of build tool. And I can't wait to see more stuff like this. So uh, Parcel.js.org, this is not an advertisement or anything like that. I, I have no connection to Parcel at all. I just think it's a really cool thing, zero config bundle, build tool, whatever you want to call it. And there's even some advanced features. If you want to know how it works, you want to change your asset types, you want to change what kind of packagers, you can write configuration with this thing if you want. But for the most part, the uh, killer feature of Parcel is the how fast it is to just get up load your script and get going. Now I'm going to try to use this on a whole bunch of stuff because how many times have you wanted to just get up and running with a quick project, whether it's React or whatever, right? And it doesn't have to be React. It, it can be any sort of JavaScript or even just HTML with a little bit of JavaScript. I mean, imagine that you're, you're doing a basic HTML page. You're using a little bit of JavaScript and you want to use modern JS features. 
you'd have to get set up with Webpack and ES6 or whatever, or Gulp. You'd have to do all your build tool just to be able to make sure that your uh, JavaScript's compiled down to browsers that understand with this. It makes that super duper effortless. And again, I'm so excited to see how tools like this evolve. So check it out, parceljs.org. What is Parcel? It is a zero configuration web application bundler. It's a build tool. It's a build tool that does everything for you without having to write a bunch of config. So check it out. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. I just wrapped on the, uh, and by wrapped, I mean completed the recording of the Redux and React for Everyone series. And that is going to be released sometime later this month, hopefully very soon. And that series, let me tell you, is one of my best yet. So if you want to become a Level Up Pro and get access to that series or purchase it when it comes out, head on over to leveluptutorials.com forward slash store and become a pro or, you know, check out anything that I have for sale there. It helps me create free tutorials. I got a whole bunch of stuff coming. I promise there's new Gatsby videos. Uh, I'm going to be doing some stuff on Git and a whole bunch of new, new React package videos. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.